Stephen Key here, and today I'm going to talk about why are you going after the biggest companies to try to license your ideas to? Because big is not better. I said it. Now, I know what you're thinking. I want to go after the biggest company that's got the greatest brand recognition. They have the greatest distribution. That's the company I want to go out to and license my idea because they're in every store around the world. All right, I know that that seems like the smart thing to do. And I've chased the big guys too, but typically big companies don't license very much. They're, they're risk averse. I've talked about that. And they have a large uh, product line and you're just gonna get buried and they're not gonna care as much and they're gonna take years to get back to you. And it's just a pain in your rear end. It's a pain in mine too. What you want to do is find those mid-sized companies. You want to find those companies that are really looking for that next big hit so they become a bigger company. You want to find one of those companies that's going to love you, that's going to embrace you, that has that entrepreneurial spirit to where they can take your idea and they're going to really push hard and they have that desire, that want to, to be a big company, to, to, to really work hard on your behalf. Big companies won't do that, but mid-sized companies will. But what I mean by mid-sized companies, they're still big, but they're not those huge, big companies that we always chase. If you go down too small, they don't have the money, the resources, probably the connections or the distribution points, and it's gonna be a little frustrating too. All right, I also wanna talk a little bit about looking at these companies and determining how to increase your chances of success. Okay. I'll give you an example. DRTV industry. I know a lot of you are watching this. You love the DRTV industry. That's the ass seen on TV industry. And you love it because you're watching those products on, on TV. You're seeing them in the retail stores. And guess what? You can make a lot of money. All right, but realize that industry only takes one or two products a year to market and hopefully they get a hit. Maybe they, maybe they take five or maybe they take three. But it only takes one to be this huge hit that they're going to sell millions of them for them to be profitable. So is there going to be a lot of opportunity there when they only take, they look at thousands and only take, they te I think they test 150, I've heard that number, and they take you know three or four, and maybe only one becomes a hit. I don't like those odds. There's going to be some companies out there that have a lot of SKUs. They might have a thousand products in their line. Now, they're not going to, they don't need to have one product to sell millions. In fact, because they have such a large uh, product line, let's say a thousand, they don't need that type of volume for one particular item. Of course, they're going to wish that. But if they sell so many of each one, that total number is going to add up to a really big number. All right, different business model, right? The one business model, I'm going to look at a lot of products. I'm going to test three or four, you know, how many I'm going to test. I'm going to bring X amount to the market, maybe three or four. I only need one hit. If I'm a really big company, I've got a thousand SKUs, maybe I need to sell a hundred thousand of each product and I still am making a lot of money, but not selling a lot of any particular one. Those are different type of business models. What you want ideally is a company of a, of a midsize that doesn't have, you know, thousands, but it has a certain range and is really looking at selling a large volume of, of a particular product. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I like those mid-sized companies. I like those companies that aren't so, oh, I don't know. They're, they're so busy with everything else. They don't have time on my product. I want someone that's hungry and wants to work hard, that will embrace me, my product, to sell more Right, they, they, really, they really want to succeed and they're going to help me be successful. That's why I like mid-size uh, companies. Also, realize some of those big companies, they're just so slow that you end up waiting around for years. I hate to say it, I have. I've waited around for years for some of these guys. They just don't get off the rock. They're risk averse. They don't have to be aggressive. And the reason why they don't have to be innovative, they're market leaders and uh, they kind of wait for other people to create that, that market. Then they go, they go back in and they participate. So they're really, they're really very, very risk averse. 
Okay, there it is. Big companies, small companies, mid-sized companies. Find the mid-sized guys. They're going to help you. This is Stephen Key here. Once again, thanks for watching. There's a great idea in each of us. But it's truly magical to see it come to life. Sharing your creativity with the world has never been easier. We can help.